Welcome to the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast, where we bring you the grassroots tips, tricks, and stories in everything entrepreneurship, digital marketing, and personal development. I'm your host, Andres Olguin. Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast. I'm your host, Andres Olguin, and I am so thrilled to have you here with me today. Now, if you're new to the show, this podcast is all about empowering you to build your dream freelance business, break free from the 9-to-5 grind, and live a life full of passion, purpose, and autonomy. Now, today we're diving into a topic that may not sound all that exciting, but I really think it is, and that's accounting services. Now, before you think accounting is all about crunching numbers and spreadsheets, let me tell you, freelancing in this field is a game changer. We're going to explore how offering specialized freelance services in accounting can not only provide immense value to your clients, but also give you the freedom and flexibility that you've been craving. So let's get started with a little context. In today's fast paced business environment, more and more companies are turning to freelancers to handle their accounting needs. Why? Because it makes sense. Businesses, especially small and medium sized ones are looking for cost effective, efficient and expert solutions without the overhead of full time staff. And that's where you as a freelance accountant come in. Now, by specializing in accounting services, you're positioning yourself as a highly valuable asset to these businesses. Specialization is key in the freelance world. It's what sets you apart from the crowd and allows you to command higher rates, attract better clients, and build a reputation as an expert in your field. Now, when you offer specialized services, you're not just another freelancer. You're a go-to resource for specific high-demand skills. Now, let's talk about the benefits of freelancing in accounting. Now, first and foremost, there's flexibility. As a freelance accountant, you have the power to set your own schedule, choose the projects you want to work on, and decide how you how much you want to work. Now, whether you want to work part-time while you transition from your current job or you're ready to dive in full-time, freelancing gives you the control to design your work-life balance. Another major benefit is the potential for higher earnings. Freelance accountants can often charge premium rates for their specialized skills, and businesses are willing to pay more for expertise and reliability, especially when it comes to something as critical as their finances. Now, by leveraging your knowledge and experience, you can create a lucrative freelance career that matches or even surpasses your previous income. But beyond the financial perks, freelancing and accounting offers a sense of fulfillment and purpose. You're not just balancing books, you're helping businesses to grow and thrive. Your work directly impacts their success, and that is incredibly rewarding. Plus, you get to build relationships with a variety of clients, each with their own unique challenges and opportunities. This diversity keeps your work interesting, and it allows you to continuously learn and grow. And... Let's not forget the entrepreneurial aspect of freelancing. As a freelance accountant, you're essentially running your own business. Now, this means you get to develop a wide range of skills beyond accounting, from marketing and client management to strategic planning and business development. It's an exciting journey that transforms you into a well-rounded professional and business owner. So if you ever thought about taking your accounting skills freelance Now is the perfect time to explore this path. The demand is high, the opportunities abundant, and the benefits are just too good to ignore. In today's episode, we're going to break down everything you need to know to get started, from understanding the landscape of freelance accounting to setting up your business, marketing your services, managing those client relationships, and overcoming some common challenges. I'm here to guide you every step of the way, so get comfortable, grab your favorite beverage, and let's dive into the world of freelance accounting services. All right, so in this segment, we're going to dive deep into the landscape and demand for freelance accounting services. So if you've been thinking about leveraging your accounting skills in the freelance world, you are in for a treat. So let's get started by defining what freelance accounting services actually are. 
These encompass a broad range of financial tasks that businesses need to keep their operations running smoothly. This can include bookkeeping, tax prep, financial analysis, payroll management, budgeting, auditing, and even financial consulting. And as a freelance accountant, you can choose to specialize in one of these areas or offer a combination of services depending on your expertise and the needs of your clients. Now, you might be wondering about the current market demand for these services. Let me tell you, the demand is booming. More businesses than ever are turning to freelancers to handle their accounting needs. And according to recent market studies, a significant percentage of small and medium-sized businesses prefer to outsource their accounting tasks rather than hiring in-house accountants. This trend is driven by several factors, including the need for cost-effective solutions, access to specialized skills, and the flexibility that freelance accountants offer. So, who exactly are the clients looking for freelance accounting services? Well, the range is quite broad, so let's break it down. First, small businesses. These are often the backbone of any economy. Small businesses need accurate and timely financial records to make informed decisions, manage their cash flow, and comply with tax regulations. However, they may not have the budget to hire a full-time accountant, making freelance services an ideal solution. Next are startups. They are typically in a phase of rapid growth and development, and they need accounting services to manage their finances efficiently, attract investors, and plan for future growth. Freelance accountants can provide the necessary expertise without the commitment of a long-term hire. Next are solopreneurs, individuals running their own businesses like consultants, other freelancers, and creatives often need help managing their finances. They may not have the knowledge or time to handle the accounting tasks themselves, and so freelance accountants are invaluable to their operations. Next are nonprofit organizations. They need to maintain transparent and accurate financial records to ensure that they comply with regulations and make the most of their funding. Freelance accountants can help them achieve these goals without straining their budgets. And established businesses, even larger, more established businesses, sometimes seek freelance accountants for specific projects such as auditing, financial analysis, or during peak times when their in-house team might be overwhelmed. The benefits of for businesses outsourcing their accountants Um, tasks are numerous. Now, first and foremost, it's cost effective. Hiring a full-time accountant can be expensive, especially when you factor in salaries, benefits, and other overhead costs. By outsourcing to a freelancer, businesses can pay for the services they need when they need them without the ongoing commitment of a full-time hire. Another key benefit is access to specialized skills, Freelance accountants often have a wealth of experience across different industries and can bring valuable insights and expertise to their clients. This is particularly beneficial for businesses that need help with complex financial tasks or they want to implement best practices in their accounting processes. Next, flexibility. Freelance accountants can adapt to the specific needs and schedules of their clients, whether it's managing monthly bookkeeping, preparing end-of-year financial statements, or providing financial consulting for a new project, freelancers can offer tailored solutions that fit the unique requirements of each business. Outsourcing accounting tasks also allows business owners to focus on what they do best, running and growing their business. By delegating financial tasks to a professional, they can free up their time and energy to concentrate on strategic marketing, sales, and other core activities that drive their business forward. Now, in this next segment, we're going to get into the nitty-gritty of what it takes to succeed as a freelance accountant. First, let's talk about the key skills required for freelance accounting. Now, to be a successful freelance accountant, you need to have a solid foundation in a variety of financial tasks. Here are some of the essential tasks you should master. First, bookkeeping. This is the backbone of accounting. Bookkeeping involves recording daily financial transactions, maintaining ledgers, and ensuring that all financial records are accurate and up to date. Now, as a freelance accountant, you'll often be responsible for setting up and managing the bookkeeping systems 
for your clients. Next, financial analysis. This involves analyzing financial statements and reports to help businesses make informed decisions. You need to be able to identify trends, forecast future financial performance, and provide insights that can help your clients grow their businesses. Third, tax preparation. Preparing and filing taxes is a crucial service that you can offer. You should be familiar with the latest tax laws and regulations, understand how to maximize deductions, and ensure that your clients remain compliant with tax obligations. Now, managing payroll involves calculating employee wages, withholding taxes, and ensuring that employees are paid on time. It's a service that many small businesses outsource, which makes it a valuable skill for a freelance accountant. And helping clients create and manage budgets, as well as forecasting their financial future, is another key skill. This involves working closely with clients to understand their financial goals and developing plans to achieve them. Now, let's move on to the importance of certifications and qualifications. Now, some of the most valuable certifications include a Certified Public Accountant, or CPA. This is one of the most recognized certifications in the accounting field, and it demonstrates a high level of expertise and commitment to the profession. To become a CPA, you need to pass the CPA exam and meet specific educational and experience requirements. Next is a Certified Management Accountant, or a CMA. This certification is particularly valuable for accountants who want to focus on financial management and strategic decision making. It requires passing a rigorous exam and meeting professional experience requirements. Next, an Enrolled Agent, or EA. This certification is issued by the IRS and is particularly valuable for tax professionals. It demonstrates expertise in tax matters and the ability to represent clients before the IRS. And then a Chartered Financial Analyst, or CFA. If you're interested in financial analysis and investment management, the CFA certification is highly regarded. It involves passing three levels of exams and gaining relevant work experience. Now, having these certifications not only boosts your marketability, but it also ensures that you have the knowledge and skills to provide top-notch services to your clients. Now, to succeed as a freelance accountant, you need a combination of essential skills, valuable certifications, and a professional setup. Mastering bookkeeping, financial analysis, tax preparation, payroll management, and budgeting will make you an indispensable asset to your clients. And pursuing certifications like CPA, CMA, EA, or CFA will enhance your credibility and open up more opportunities. Now, in this next segment, we're going to be diving into defining marketing and pricing your services. This is where we take all those accounting skills you have and turn them into a thriving freelance business. So let's get right into it. First up, let's talk about identifying your niche. One thing I talk about in pretty much every single freelance episode within accounting. Now, finding your niche is crucial because it allows you to focus your skills and marketing efforts on a specific area, making you more attractive to potential clients. Here are a few niches you might consider. So specializing in tax preparation and planning can be incredibly lucrative, especially during tax season. Businesses and individuals always need help navigating the complex tax landscape, ensuring compliance and maximizing deductions. Now, payroll management, this is a niche where you can handle everything related to employee compensation, including calculating wages, withholding taxes, and managing benefits. Many small businesses look to outsource this to save time and reduce errors. Third, if you have experience in strategic financial planning and analysis, financial consulting could be your niche. You can help businesses with budgeting, forecasting, financial modeling, and overall financial strategy. Next, bookkeeping. This involves maintaining accurate financial records, tracking transactions, ensuring everything is in order for financial reporting. It's a fundamental service that every business needs. And then auditing. Offering internal and external auditing services can help businesses ensure their financial statements are accurate and comply with regulations. So once you've identified your niche, 
you now need to, you know, have some marketing strategies to attract your clients. That includes creating a portfolio and showcasing your expertise. This can include case studies, client testimonials, certifications and education, and maybe even some sample work. So you can include anonymized uh, samples of your work, such as financial reports, uh, tax plans, or bookkeeping records. And then when you're marketing uh, your you know, your freelance accounting business, you want to consider some strategies. First, your online presence. So you want to have, again, that professional website that highlights your services, showcases your portfolio, and includes a blog or podcast where you can share valuable insights. Now, you want to make sure your website is optimized for search engines so potential clients can find you easily. Next are professional networks. So you can join professional organizations and networks that are related to accounting and freelancing. Consider platforms like the American Institute of CPAs or some local business groups. Next, attend industry events, conferences, and local business meetups to network with potential clients and other professionals. And then content marketing. You can establish yourself as an expert by creating and sharing valuable content. So again, start a blog, host webinars, start a, you know, a podcast, and you want to share tips, insights, and updates about accounting and financial management. So let's talk about the different pricing models because how you price your services can significantly impact your business's success. First is hourly rates. Charging by the hour is straightforward and it works well for ongoing projects or tasks with variable scopes. So make sure to track your time accurately to justify your rates. Next, project-based pricing. For specific projects with a clear scope, consider offering a flat fee. This can be attractive to clients because it provides predictability in pricing. And then retainer agreements. This model involves clients paying a fixed regularly uh, charged fee, like let's say monthly, for ongoing services. And retainers provide a steady income and help people to build you know, help freelance accounters to build long-term client relationships. So I also want you to think about the value added in the services, you know, and packages. Because bundling services or offering additional value can make your offerings more attractive. So for example, you can combine services like bookkeeping, tax prep, and financial consulting into a single package. This provides convenience for clients and increases your revenue per client. You can offer, you can also offer ongoing financial advice and strategy sessions as an add-on service. This can really position you as a trusted advisor, not just a service provider. And then you can also provide clients with detailed, customized financial reports that offer insights and recommendations. This added value can justify higher rates and build stronger client relationships. So by defining your niche, creating a compelling portfolio, and implementing effective marketing strategies, you can attract the right clients and grow your business. And by choosing the right pricing model and offering value-added services, you can ensure your business is both competitive and sustainable. So let's dive into managing client relationships and delivering exceptional value. This is such an important part of your freelance accounting business because strong client relationships lead to repeat business, referrals, and a reputation that sets you apart from the competition. So first things first, let's talk about effective communication and setting expectations with clients. Having clear and consistent communication is the foundation of a successful client relationship. So here's some tips to help you master this. First, an initial consultation. So you can start to understand your ideals, your client's needs, goals, and expectations. You want to ask detailed questions about their businesses, their financial challenges, and what they hope to achieve by working with you. Then you want to clearly outline what services you'll provide, the timeline for delivery, and your pricing structure. It's crucial that you have a written agreement or contract that details these aspects to avoid misunderstandings later. You also want to keep your clients in the loop with regular updates on the progress of their projects. So whether it's weekly emails, bi-weekly calls, or monthly reports, consistent communication builds trust and reassures your clients that you're on top of things. 
So let's discuss some tips for managing long-term client relationships. So, you know, the first one is delivering consistent quality. You always strive to deliver high quality work that meets or exceeds your client expectations because consistent quality builds trust and, you know, it also makes clients more likely to continue working with you. Next, you want to have regular check-ins. So schedule regular check-ins to review progress, address any concerns, and discuss future goals. These meetings help to keep the relationship strong and ensure that you're aligned with your client's evolving needs. Now, managing multiple, multiple clients can sometimes lead to workload challenges and burnout. So how do we avoid that? Well, we set boundaries, we prioritize tasks, we delegate and automate where we can, and we take regular breaks to avoid burnout. This is going to help you to keep your mind fresh and productive. And then, inevitably, you're going to account- encounter difficult clients and common issues. Here's how, how to handle them. So stay professional. Always maintain a professional demeanor, even if the client is challenging. You want to keep communication clear and respectful, and you want to focus on finding solutions rather than assigning blame. And then document everything. So keep detailed records of all communications and agreements because this can help resolve disputes by providing a clear record of what was agreed upon. Finally, let's talk about strategies for seeing organized and meeting deadlines. First, create a schedule. So plan your week in advance, allocating specific time blocks for different clients and tasks. Use a digital calendar or a planner to keep track of deadlines and appointments. Then you want to you know, review on what you've accomplished and reflect on what you could improve at the end of each week. This helps you to continually refine your process and stay on top of your workload. So we've covered so much ground in today's episode, and let's do a quick recap of the key points we discussed about kickstarting your freelance accounting career. Now, first, we talked about the landscape and demand for freelance accounting services. We defined what a freelance accounting entails and explored the current market demand. Next, we dove into the essential skills, qualifications, and steps to establish your business. We discussed the key skills you need, including bookkeeping, financial analysis, tax preparation, payroll management, and budgeting. We also emphasized the importance of certifications like CPA, CMA, EA, and CFA to boost your credibility and marketability. In defining marketing and pricing your services, we explored how to identify your niche within accounting and the importance of creating a compelling portfolio. Lastly, we talked about offering value-added services and packages to enhance your offerings and attract more clients. Then we moved on to managing client relationships and delivering value. We've highlighted the importance of effective communication and setting clear expectations with the clients. We share tips for maintaining long-term client relationships, managing workload and avoiding burnout, and handling difficult clients. All right, so now that we've recapped everything, I want to leave you with some encouragement and motivation. You've got this. Stepping into the world of freelance accounting is an exciting journey. It's filled with opportunities to grow, to learn, and to create a business that truly aligns with your values and goals. Remember, every great freelancer started where you are now. They took the leap, they learned along the way, and they built their businesses step by step. You have the skills, the knowledge, and the passion to make this work. It's all about taking that first step and trusting in your abilities. So don't let fear of or doubt hold you back. The demand for freelance accounting services is growing and so many businesses are out there that need your expertise. I want you to also stay focused on your goals, keep learning, and be open to new opportunities because every challenge you face is a chance to grow and refine your business. I believe in you and I know you have what it takes to succeed. So whether you're just starting out or looking to take your freelance business to the next level, remember that you, my friend, are not alone. There's a whole community of freelancers out there cheering you on. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast. I hope you found today's episode valuable and inspiring. And if you have any questions or want to share your journey, please reach out. I love hearing from you. 
And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. And also, if you enjoyed today's show, please leave a review because it really do, does help others to find the podcast and join our community. So keep pushing forward, stay inspired, and let's make those freelance dreams a reality. Until next time, take care and keep thriving.